Good morning, guys. I just have a little news. This is just a little ad here in the front of the video. I uploaded this video yesterday, but then I saw that I had made some terrible mistakes in the video. Somehow my music got replaced and was not where it's supposed to be in the video. Instead of being where the time lapse were, were then they were where I was talking, whatever. I didn't check it enough, I guess. So I deleted the video and just gonna, I just added it. So I'm just gonna add this just for them that know, just for them that watched the video already. They don't have to watch it again unless they want to. So yeah, this is about the control arms. Hey guys, welcome back to JHP Duramax, part two of lower control arm build. So, today we just need to do the mounting system. I think I have all the parts, just drill a few holes, do some chopping and welding, weld it onto the truck, stuff like that, paint it, paint the control arms. So I'll show you here um, what I'm doing. So here I have a uh, piece of flat bar. I've marked four pieces and I want to put holes in like this in every one. Just where a bolt like this fits. This bolt fits the, the traction control arm. And then, we'll chop a piece of this piping off, weld it to the end of this. Another piece to the end of, every piece is gonna have one like that on the end. And then the, the bolts that I showed you on the trial, the back springs, just gonna take the, the nut up. There's two bigger nuts because I lowered it on the back. So I had to take Two inch blockers out so now there's bolts like that long so we're just going to put these pieces on tighten them back up should be fairly easy just the front we have to weld i got some units for that here too so uh i did make these we're gonna do just a little round edge yet on the front side and then we put them on, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't take long. Hopefully it's not too long video, but let's try it. One of the best drill bits that you could get. I just don't know what brand it is. But it's a good one. Maybe it's because I sharp it. Then I use one of these.
So now everything's ready to install, but these uh, control arms, I uh, first need, want to paint them. I'm going to paint them, and then while they dry, I'm going to go and weld the kit to the truck so that this is dry by the time I'm done that, and then I'm going to paint the kit on the truck, and then these will be done. So what I have here is... Again, primer and then a color. There's gonna that's gonna be the accent color for the truck, like a little bit of blue blue things on it. I think it'll look nice. There's some people that have told me that blue look would probably be nice. One of the people was also Daniel from uh, Prairie Dogs. So that's what we'll do. We'll do blue. For now, it will just be these control bars and then later probably the brake calibers and uh, just little details just show it so that it pops a little bit. You see it like there's a little bit, a little bit of an extra color to it. If you like it, if not, we'll change it. But for now, I, I think it'll be nice. So let's, let's try it. Let's get to painting. Yeah, so if you guys haven't seen, there's finally a bit of a floor in here. Yeah, it's thick rubbers. There are some holes in it because it was from in a barn. For some reason that it put holes in there, so that's fine. It's like over a half inch thick. So that'll keep it much cleaner in here for uh, future projects. These bolts are really, really stuck. I had them off like probably close to a year ago and now they're like super, super stuck. So I put some DW40 on it and hopefully, hopefully that thing will help. Let's see. Okay, which way are we going? No way. Probably the wrong way. <laughs> Trying to do this with one hand, it's kind of hard. <sighs> no piece. That doesn't want to work. This is like really, really, really hard. Listen to this. I hope nothing breaks. Listen to this. That is bad. There's still like a whole inch to go and it's really fine treaded bolt. So it'll take very long. Uh, it just gets worse. I hope it doesn't break. A few inches later. Yeah, so like an hour later, fine, I got the first one off. The second one it was really easy to take off first, so I tightened it up a bit just so I could do the other one without having too much movement in there. So I did put the piece on the other one, tighten it back up. Now I want to take the second one off, and now it's the same thing. Now it's just 
just bang, 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 I don't know. So, it'll take long. So I won't film all of that because it's just a hassle to take those off. Like, terrible. So yeah, I hope at least I get it done today. I thought it would take like half an hour, but it seems like it'll take forever. One eternity later. So after another hour or so, got the other one off. So now they're both on there. Yeah, so the control arm will come like between there. Tighten this up and then we'll tighten those up. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work. So guys, I did the painting now. The other side still needs some. I'll flip them over here soon. I've forgotten to record that part, but all you guys know, painting is painting, so yeah. I don't know how that color will look. I hope it'll look nice. Yes, yeah, so I think both sides are now ready to to put the control arms on on the back, like the front I still have to weld. So I'm just gonna do the well, I should actually, now that they're dry, I should first measure and then do the welding and then finish painting and put them on. I'll, I'll do that. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. I think it'll look nice. Hey, guys. Yeah, now, finally, the traction control arms are done. I thought it'd be like half an hour, an hour this morning, I'd be done. And it's like 4 o'clock the afternoon so took me all day so yeah I put a lot of work into it I didn't record everything but it's done um, then go and clean me up here a bit quite dirty and then I'm gonna take a ride to town and see see how it works so yeah you guys want to see here we go Yeah, there it welded a bracket to the frame. Still gonna do some painting, probably gonna do the whole frame, paint the whole frame. And then, goes to the back. Both sides the same. So yeah, I don't know how that looks, but you guys can tell me. Let me know, write a comment. Tell me if you like it or or if the color is not right or if there's a different color you think would look better. I just spray painted it now. Be a chance that they'll chip because of stones. In the future I'd probably just get them power coated and then that should hold. So yeah, I'll take a ride and uh, after a little ride, I'll get back to you, let you know what's up. Hey guys, so we're on our way to town now and had a little test drive here with the new control arms and it feels amazing. Yeah, it feels really good. I did a few uh, takeoffs and it just feels so much stabler and I got way more traction now. I never thought it actually made such a difference, but it has, yeah. So yeah, this will be the end of the video and then see you in the next one.